The Night Enchanter is a close quarters combat mage who is an expert in defensive magic. Here is an example of using three abilities together. Begin by using Fade Cloak to momentarily become invulnerable. Next, cast Disruption Field to slow down your enemies, and then use Spirit Blade to damage them. As the Warrior Inquisitor, you can specialize in one of three different areas of expertise. First, we'll take a look at the Champion. This specialization focuses on controlling the battlefield. The Line in the Sand ability creates a wall of defense, capable of containing the enemy or creating a choke point. Right, ladies and gentlemen, just recording yourself starting a new level, so, so you can wrath of heaven ability, have a bit of a look and see how it's all put together. Draws power from the blood of Got a brief idea of what I want this level 2 look like. I did a rough sketch once upon a time at work. I can't find my records, meaning that kids have taken it. So, what can make me do? Rip out the heart of your enemy. Scratch. Well, I'll just take a picture of it so I can use that. I shall show you the picture. Uh, probably can't see it. Uh, no, probably not. Well, I've got a picture, so I'll make use of it. Bleed that. Okay, as you can see here, we got the starting point for the main player. Um, the player is a cog. He kind of floats around, always moving forwards. Don't really know why. That's just the way it turned out. Uh, this is the editor that I built to make things easier for Steve to make levels and myself. Um, I tend to make the really really hard levels though um, not really good at making easy levels um, so yeah, that's got a message oh fucking what sorry for language <laughs> um, that's what that jaw is the boy yeah, yeah. Someone's got a, a very, very, very cool email. Mm -hmm, that's okay. um, so yeah, um, the, the player always starts at zero zero, which is where um, this editor basically um, this editor allows me to basically place down tiles. Um, can delete them as well. Um, can move left and right, up, down. Um, if I press shift, and I can super speed. Um, there's a few other things that the editor can do. Like, for example, it can zoom out if I need to see a lot, whole bunch of stuff. Zoom back in. Um, got a different tile. So these are basic collision blocks. Um, simply just put them here. Um, stop the player from going out and stuff like that then we've got these things here which are bronze, silver whoops well the animation takes I'm, I'm using the, the native animation so it, it basically loads in properly at one time um, so yeah these are collectibles which give the player points basically um, then you've got these things which are gates, blue, red and yellow basically you have to match up the face button on the Xbox controller um, or on the PC, those controls for PC as well but basically you have to smash through them um, we've got this thing here with boost I'll show you what the gates in a minute when I, when I finish explaining what these tiles actually are so this is a boost um, it gradually builds at a player's speed for a certain amount of time. The more boost you hit, the more time 
you, you accumulate to stay boosting and you stay at your maximum velocity um, then over time you, you, you slow down um, so it's not an instant boost it's a gradual boost um, which I think works a lot better um, you've got these things which basically reverse the direction you're going um, one goes left one goes right we've got these things here which are warps um, so you put a warp down you put a target um, you select the warp you edit um, click on or oops, click on the target uh, oh, seems my um, my warp doesn't seem to want to work right now Hmm. I'm not sure what is not working. I've re I literally just remade this thing, so excuse. Yeah, because it's edit, then click on there. And it should be. Uh, not sure why it's not working now. Oh well. Um. Yeah, well, that should link up. Well, obviously, it's it doesn't want to work. I've literally just ported this over because I'm now developing the Xbox One version. So, some things seem to obviously not be working, which is what I'm supposed to be testing now. But I thought I'd actually just record it and show you guys exactly how it all works whilst I was testing it rather than me just testing it and being boring with myself. Um, so similar to the warp we've got these saw blades which again you should be able to select one of these um, go into select mode click it you press edit yep so, and, uh, something seems to not be working well it seems to be working it seems that it's just not drawing um, yeah it's working just not drawing so maybe the warp was working um but yeah so with the saw you can actually speed them out delay them i'm just going to test if this was actually working this there's supposed to be a line that gets drawn but i think some of the tweaks I made obviously um, mess that up but if I press play it will start running oh yes it does work it's just that the line that's supposed to draw isn't drawing oh I need to see what I messed up on that um, and got, you can only delete things in paint mode as well um, but on with the show um, yeah we've got these which reverse the direction that you're in I'll give you a quick example of that mm, it would seem that I've also messed that up that's the thing about porting from two different um, Is that what it's supposed to do? Yeah. Well, you know, this you're 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 getting first hand up what happens when the <laughs> development goes wrong. I probably should have tested all of this before I did the video, but hey, this is what happens when you're live. But anyways, um at least I've got a little bit of feedback for to go to Steve. So yeah, for those are the tiles, um, there are a few others that I haven't put into the game yet, but will be making its way in later. Um, but yes, I shall show you these gates real quick before I, before I carry on with the actual making of the level. Uh, I'm only going to make partial because I just can see some things don't really work currently. Um, Actually, I think I know why that doesn't work. It's cause, um, yeah, yeah. I've changed some of the collisions, so I'm gonna have to rethink how I did the collision for the the rotates. Cause you, the player kind of needs to be in the middle for it to work properly. 
yeah. Anyway, I really think that much here. Yeah. I um, don't mind the um, egg there, um, jelly drinks in the back. Um, so I'll put this behind me. I've got a nice sweet TV with my. All my Xbox in there, so. But yeah, let's carry on. Um, yes, showing you this. So, okay, so we've got. So, you can drink them. Like that. Um, if I didn't change colour, I would have just died, as you see there. There will be more animations um, also. But when I do that, I change the colour. See, I didn't change the red, so I died. And so forth. So, so yeah, that's how that mechanic works. But yeah, I shall carry on with development now. So if I sound a bit quiet, it's just because magic is happening. So yes, I shall. I shall carry on and I shall I'll, I'll briefly keep talking every now and again so just checking my email message Safety image. Basically, the first part of my design is that there is um, four rotates that take place, um, but obviously that is going to be a bit boring. So I've put this in here. So basically, the present go forwards. Then I'm going to come through here. I'm going to go through there. Then I'm going to add in some more tiles here. And this, there's going to be a saw blade here. And the level is going to split back out again. And um, we'll have this here. And then we'll have that there and that there. So. Yeah, we put that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there. Uh, a bit over there, and a bit over there. And basically, what this is saying to the player is if they should have saw blade go there instead. Yeah, if they go up this title path, they are going to get a better reward. So they're going to get a better reward, but it will require. more skill so this path will be tighter whereas this one's more open and the challenge the 
challenge will be less. The challenge will be less. So, whereas here we're just going to have some tight turn ins with a boost here. Here we know that the player is basically going to come down here and then fork back up, and we'll give them, we'll give them a little, a little treat. We'll put these ones here, and we'll put these bronze ones here. It's good to give the player um, some, some little treat to sort of encourage them to you know want to actually go through the level um, and you'll see what I mean about you know this being an easier route because now we're gonna go buck wild on them so we'll, we'll give them a bit of a boost let them go through here quite quite rapidly and then I'm gonna hit them with the I'm gonna put up there so what I'm gonna do is put two there and then some gold then I switch it to a yellow no no I'm gonna switch it to a green let's not be too cool on them because yellow is actually no, no, I'll go with yellow because yellow is not too far distance from the red when you look at the controller, obviously. So then you have to go red, yellow, and then I think I'll go red again. So give them, give them some more encouragement, and then we go red. A bit more encouragement, and then to go red, yellow, red, blue. And then you've got loads of blues, got four blues, a boost, a boost, a red, and a gold. So with that gold being there, that shows that if you went on the bottom route, you can still slightly curve back around, grab it. But risk hitting hitting back right there. So do they want to risk it? That's up to them. But now from doing that, you've said to the player, yeah, you want that you want those bigger points? Yeah. Come this way. So you have to you have to entice them like the Pied Piper. You know, put a bit of gold there for them, make them go that way. And so what we've got there is basically We've now defined quite a tough route, so it's like saying, come this way, risk this thing sticking out, potentially pushing you into that saw blade, but come this way and you deal with this, which is quite hard, but then you get the bigger points, so risk reward. And as you're saying, this is being done live, so I haven't tested it, so I am going to test it right now and see what happens 
when I play it because obviously I have to make sure that the game can be beaten otherwise it's unfair to the player and basically this is where we're going to have that first row tape I don't even have to change the collision on that because that basically isn't going to get through unless I put that there which might actually work out better for what I want to do but I'll save that just because uh, like I said it is a bit buggy at the moment because I've just literally got this working today about 30 minutes ago so let's reset the camera and reset all the tiles and we will give this a little well so yes Ooh. is that two two do, do that come down there see again me it's quite hard see Yeah. But you saw how I got past the bottom loop. I'm gonna change this and put that there. Uh, save that. And now I'm gonna try the top loop. Can't guarantee that I will do it in this video. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm gonna have to tweak it. Ooh. Ooh. See, you lose your sort of bearings because it's red, it's green, red, green here. And when you get to here, you immediately want to press the wrong colour. But as you can see, it's it's the fact that I'm pressing the wrong colour, not that the game's cheating me. Ah, oh, that last red one. Yes, this game is very range inducing. Ah, I'm trying my best not to swear. <laughs> Try to move up there too early and then get hit by the swords. Ah, I'm gonna do it for you guys. I want, I want, I want you to see me do it. Ah! <laughs> I would do what really happens is another story. I told you that that blue on all the, all on the other side literally is a stretch and a half. It can be done. Oh, as you can see, but getting from that blue back to the red is a killer. Damn. Come on, I can do it. I want to do it just for you guys. I remember what I said about the boost. The more boost you hit, the more, the faster you get, and the longer you get, and the longer you stay fast for. So, oh, so close. There we go. And we done it. <laughs> Told you our dear for the fans. And I think guys, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna leave the recording there. It's my first time doing this, so I want some feedback and let me know, you know, if you want any, want music with the actual recording, you don't want music, um, if I talk rubbish and you want me to talk less rubbish. I don't know, so give me a shout and 
Yeah, let me just test this save if it actually works. There we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you never know. Oh, guys, cheers for watching. I'm out of here.